In the following lesson, we are going to learn how we can create a rectangle. For this reason, I have already created a new file based on the ACADA ISO template. Like we usually do, we will start with the different ways of activating the tool. The rectangle tool can be found in both the draw menu and the ribbon if we look at the home tab and the panel draw. In addition, we can also type the word rectangle in the command line and press enter to activate it. Like always, I will activate the tool from the ribbon. The first thing I need to do is click somewhere in the drawing area to specify the first corner of the rectangle. Once I click and move the cursor away, I can click again on a random point to define the second corner of the rectangle without specifying its dimensions. After the second click, a random rectangle is created and the tool deactivates automatically. I will select the rectangle again and click to define its first corner. Notice that the length field is active and I can type a number to define it. So I will type the number 100. To lock the length field and activate the width field, I will press the tab key from my keyboard. With the length field locked and the width field active, I will type the number 80 and press enter. In this way, I quickly created a 100 by 80 rectangle. Now, I will activate the rectangle tool once again. Once the tool is active, I will click to define the first corner and then I will take a look at the command line. There are a few options there. From those options, I will select Dimensions. Now, in the command line appears a message that prompts me to specify the length of the rectangle. I will type the number 100 again and then press Enter. Then another message appears that prompts me to specify the width of the rectangle. This time I will type the number 80 and press Enter. At this point the dimensions have been given but the rectangle has not been created yet. I will move the cursor in the drawing area and notice that the direction of the rectangle changes as I move the cursor. I have to click once more to define the direction in which the rectangle will be created. At this point, I will select the rectangle one last time. I will click to define the first corner again and then I will select the area option. A new message appears that prompts me to specify the total area of the rectangle. I will type the number 9000 and then press enter. In order to calculate the dimensions, I need to specify either the length or the width of the rectangle. In this example, I will choose to define the length. More precisely, I am going to set the value to 100. The rectangle is created automatically and its area is 9000 while its length is 100. Similarly, I could have chosen to define the width instead. There are more options in the command line when the rectangle is active, such as chamfer, fillet, width, etc. However, we won't elaborate on them, because we don't usually use them. There is another way to create chamfer or fillet, to rotate and to increase the width of the lines in general, and we are going to learn those functions in the following lessons.